you couldn't have had this conference 10 years ago. It's what's exciting, it's not just treading over ground that people have been over many times, it's really quite new. Part of the reason that this conference is so historic and so important, and, and Avery certainly in the center of that, is that we're at a moment where we're watching the maturation of this literature. 10 years ago, it was very hard to get a book published if you're talking about the Black Power Movement. It was even more difficult to get attention from the larger historical community. It was uh, something that was viewed as you know, almost marginalized, and the focus was almost exclusively on civil rights. A conversation about Black Power is needed in the sense that it is one that reaffirms the individual and collective ability to be self-determined and I think that it's just very timely and we hope that people will be encouraged to have conversations and to get involved. I really feel like it puts Avery in a position to foster conversation and the, the discourse on African American history and culture. I'm teaching a class called the History of the Black Power Movement. So many of the scholars that we have here for the conference are the very same scholars that these students are reading. So it's really been my hope and aim to integrate into the course the students as part of the conversation. I really enjoyed the conference. For a movement that has been so long classified as like a male radical movement, to see women, educated women, who are actually, you know, very, very active in this movement, it just shows that, you know, as a black person first and then as a woman second, that, you know, I too can make a difference in society, and that's just really profound for me. Sky's the limit, really, because you have so many people working on so many different dimensions of this. Uh, gender, for example, is one of the areas that I think is going to be really interesting. And if you look at some of the groundbreaking work that's been done, just the whole intersection of labor, importance of talking about state violence, surveillance, mass incarceration. So there's so many avenues that we have yet to fully explore. It's just a great time to be in this field.